Well, I've covered both teams this season already. Um, Bonus United, it was away at Lunkart in the Cup. I'll put a link up there. And uh, I think I've three times I've covered the University of Stirling. Whole land away this season. Again, I'll put links up. This gives uh, me the opportunity now to say, if you like what I do, please support me by subscribing to my channel. You know, comment as well, like and share. I've done all the low league grounds. I've only got a handful of East of Scotland League grounds to go to, but I've got a lot of the West of Scotland League grounds. So, you know, come on, suggest a place to go, please comment, and you never know, I'll come along and do a mad day vlog. Well, obviously you're familiar with University of Stirling, being in the same league as them. Do you prepare any differently? No, no, we don't prepare any differently. Um, like I said, we know, the, we know how good the uni team is. We, we played against them obviously a few weeks ago. Um, and I felt, I felt certainly in the in the kind of first half, um, I felt we were, we were we were kind of deserving to be be in front. Uh, and then second half, I, I felt we didn't we didn't do ourselves justice. The uni team came right back into it. And to be honest with you, we were probably good good value for the win. So um, so for ourselves tonight, like I say, we need to we need to make sure we're we're aware of the dangers which we've, we've spoke to the players about, and we've looked at the places where we can exploit them. So no, um, we're just treating it as any other game. As I've said, I've said on you numerous occasions, like I says, we're, we're here to try and we're here to try and win every football game we're, we're, we come into, so the players are going in with the same mentality that we're here and we're, we're, we're here to win the game. Hey Gary, I'm told you're the chaplain at the University of Stirling, could you maybe explain what that role is? Yes, I'm the sports chaplain for the University football team and uh, like many clubs, in fact I think there's over 140 of us now across all the leagues in Scotland, we are there to, to support the boys and be, a, be a, someone they can turn to in, for, in tough times, times of injury, things when they're going through hard times in their lives. We, we kinda, are there for them to, to chat to confidentially and to, and to share and to walk with them through those times. Yeah, so it'll be, it'll be quite fulfilling but also quite challenging sometimes. It, it can be, it's very fulfilling because you get to know the boys, you get the team gets under your skin and you, you're really a supporter and you, you want them to do well. But, but it's also challenging when they're going through tough times and we've had a few boys over the years who have had like uh, maybe career ending injuries and things yeah. like that and you feel for them. Another boy's going through some real tough mental times and you're just there to support them and help as best as you can, yeah. OK, thanks very much. You're very welcome. Definitely if, if for this game, because you're, you're very familiar with Boris United, aren't you? Uh, no, no, we don't. Uh, we just play players we always do. Uh, we're, we're well used to playing um, midweek and then a Saturday, so um, the game is off at the weekend there, obviously, so... Um, preparation just as usual to come here tonight. And you beat them was a few weeks ago, was it? Yeah, um, yeah but four or five weeks ago, um, our bit we won 3-1. It was on a tough game, um, had probably the better in the first half. And, um, and we came out the second half and done really well. Um, a few good goals, so... Yeah, we know what to expect from one tonight. Again, it'll be a tough game. Uh, so we're prepared properly and it's a game we're going to, to go win tonight. Thanks very much. Alright. Yeah, we're just waiting for a kick off Boris United in their usual blue and uh, Stirling University in their usual all green. Uh, and it's Boris United to kick off. There we go, kick off. Oh, corner there. First corner of the game. Oh, about a minute played. The short one. Oh. Oh, there's a chance here now for Sterling. Oh, that was a far away. Oh. Shot there, long range effort. Oh! That was the far away again. Oh, what a good save. Oh, good shot and save. Oh, a good few ball there. Chance, there we go. The opening score is Stirling University. One ball. There we go, free kick out of the box here. Oh, 
Oh, so, oh. Again, I was in far away. Along with Jeffer, oh. Oh, that was far away as well. So what do you think of the first half then? Aye, decent half, uh, two decent teams, the Uni have taken their chances, bonus are looking dangerous up front, top three looking very good, but uh, the Uni looked dangerous in the break to be fair. That's right, it was a cool deflection as well for their second goal, I noticed. Aye, but, it, was, you know, it was, the first goal's nice, a nice ball through for yeah. the wide player, uh, it was a nice wee pass, pass inside but the, the, the boy finished it well. But they've had two or three on top of that, the uni. Yeah. They've been unlucky. But Bone S they look dangerous. Both teams are dangerous to be Both fair. teams are, and it's good it, teams. And it's all about scoring goals, eh? Aye, aye 100%. Yeah. The boys are lucky with the one after post, number seven. Yeah, that's um, right, yeah. But aye, it's an even game, to be fair. I think there'll be more goals than the second half, eh? The uni will be happy, the uni will be happy too, so. up, that's for sure. I know, definitely, yeah. Thanks very much. Very nope. good game, enjoying it. Both teams, very good. A little between them. The uh, unis had. We lucky deflection, which helps. Yeah, but more goals coming second half, I think. I think so because uh, I thought I think United were lucky. No, they scored maybe, you know. Yeah, they were a bit. Uh, but keepers made some good saves as well. So yeah. looking forward to second half. Yeah, hopefully it gets a wee bit warmer. It's a okay, bit, a bit cold. Right, that's the second half started, and they're queued up for a bottle there. I'm just going to show you an attack here. Oh, oh shut it up. Come on. The corner, is it? Yep. I'll just stay here. So, first corner and a half to Bonnie if you need. Ah, right to the goal. Oh, that was all my state. Oh, we go. 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 No, you won't have much. Ah! 
This kind of got go. Oh, 
It's a short one, doing quickly. Sterling. I think that's uh, where the actual time man is on, in fact. So, there we go. That's it, full time. If you want the university of Solon, I'd be delighted with that. Listen, we had a few shots at goal, um, so did they. Obviously, our keeper tipped one onto the post. <coughs> Could have been tired, but we were clinical first half. Second half, we had a few opportunities, but then the last 15 20 minutes, bonus put us under real pressure. And I thought we stood up to it and defended really well. And obviously, Thomas coming back for injury there gets a the clincher. So, nah, listen, it was a tough game. We expected that, but I think over the piece, we were deserved winners. It really changes the uh, substitutions, I think. I mean, the difference here. Aye, well, listen, we've got, uh, we've got everyone fit now. Um, to be honest, every single player's fit. Obviously, we've got, well, sorry, <laughs> not everyone's fit. Cammy McKinley, one of the top scorers in London, got a wee niggle this week, so we didn't need to rest him. We've got Finn who came in, obviously Ben and, and stuff like that. So, now, nah, listen, um, the changes helped. Thomas came on and scored, but listen, it was a tough game, and um, now nah, we're delighted to get through the next round. Thanks very much. No worries. We were a bit lucky uh, to go in uh, half time 2 0 down. I thought maybe at least 2 1 or something. Uh, there's a lot of chances. Yeah, it was, yeah, absolutely frustrating. It was an NTN game. Um, they, they took their goals well. Uh, we didn't deal with the first goal again against another lonely team. Uh, although it was a cup game, the first goal in these games is absolutely massive. It's cru so crucial, and we keep stressing yeah. that to the players. I thought we started slow tonight. Yeah. Uh, we didn't come out the traps. We didn't. You know, normally at home, we're very aggressive and quite dominant. You know, I thought fair play to Stirling Uni. I thought that it was it was a game of two halves. I thought that they were the better team first half, and I thought we were the better team second half. Yeah. Unfortunately, when it goes in that 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 uh, order. We gave ourselves too big a task to climb in the second half. Yeah, you needed to get a goal back early in the second half. Eh? And yeah. You did get one back, but it maybe came a bit too late. Yeah, it probably came five, ten minutes too late. And, and don't get me wrong, we had a couple of chances uh, to go and maybe make it to each. I thought at that point there was only one team in the ascendancy. Um, but Sterling had, had played well enough to give themselves that advantage and, and they sat in and they defended well and you know, we missed a couple of half chances of goal. He's had a couple of good saves, a couple of balls, he's bouncing about the box, it didn't quite get there. I'm not sure, I didn't see uh, the, the, the goal that, that we had disallowed just five minutes before they scored yeah. when we were foul at the front post. I was watching the ball at the, at the back yeah, post, yeah. perhaps it was a foul. Uh, sometimes you, you, you get them, it just wasn't for us tonight. Uh, no. But the first half wasn't a bonus team, that wasn't how we play and that wasn't uh, good enough. Okay. Nice. Well, there you go, folks. <laughs> I spoke to Stuart Hunter at the end of the game. He was furious. 
And no wonder, I mean, I, I don't think the bunch of played badly, it was just that they couldn't score a goal. Uh, well, it did eventually, but it was a bit late as well. And 2-0 uh, half-time, a cruel deflection it was uh, as well, but nevertheless, 2-0 half-time. Having said that, you know, I've always been impressed with University of Stirling. When they have their full squad available, I think they only had one player out. They're a formidable force, and I've always been impressed with the setup there. So, well done to the University of Stirling. I thought we'd add a wee bit about the chaplain here, Gary Caldwell, who's a chaplain at the University of Stirling. Uh, when I go to the games, a lot of times I speak to them. I thought it'd be interesting to, you know, for anybody, it's probably a role that a lot of people are not aware of, but it's an important role in clubs, so it was interesting. Uh, so I hope, hope you enjoyed the interview for the chaplain at the football clubs. Anyway, until the next time, I'll see you behind the goals.